why I, John Boyle, should be the third side of the coin in three minutes or less, looking at that time down there. Um, KISS credentials, oh, I, I wear them on my sleeve, and I will uh, demonstrate that here. Uh, that is my ace tattoo. And, uh, okay, another credential, as we all know, um, any proper KISS fan has this uh, hairdo. Um, and as another surprise, uh, I, 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 I haven't always looked like that, um, but uh, another surprise, another reason that I should be the third side of the coin is that I am a uh, Richfield High, High graduate, 1984. So still looking at the time here. I got two minutes. Um, began with uh, a KISS. My relationship with KISS began in about 77. Um, it, my sister bought a live and um, destroyer. And I obviously heard those coming through the uh, thin walls of a Richfield home. Uh, and then I would sneak into her bedroom and uh, listen to the records. And then I got uh, Columbia House membership and got Rock and Roll Over and Destroyer. Um, and from there, it's just I've bought every... Kiss album up until, oh gosh, I would say the Unmasked era on basically every format. Um, my 8-track collection is actually uh, put away right now. Uh, I would show that to you, but... Um, so, yeah, uh, from there, uh, let's see, concerts I've seen, uh, Rock and Roll Over Tour... Um, Alive 2, which, you know, should have, Love Gun slash Alive 2, uh, Dynasty, Creatures, Lick It Up, took a long break, and then uh, got back into um, the Farewell Tour. Um, you know, quite frankly, I, I gave up on them after seeing Lick It Up and that, yes, that was me in the Ace Frehley costume, probably about eighth row and Gene Flick to Vinnie Vincent pick that landed right here in the Destroyer costume. That's me. Um, and not a big non-makeup fan revisited that. I'm running down to five, four, six. Um, 